episode 9,000 of the stuff they don't tell you about the spiritual journey because you're, I guess, supposed to just figure it out on, in your in your own way. It reminds me of in college, when you get to college, and at least for me, it was like drastically different in many ways than regular school. Plus, you don't have your parents. You don't have your, your typical friend, depending. You don't usually have your typical friend group around you, so you're having to make new friends and find people to, like, connect to and ask questions. Um... And, like, your, my counselor, my college counselor, like, would just send me to people. And she did, she almost never answered my questions, which I am grateful for, like, late, like, after, after it, because it, it made me go through the hoops of trying to figure it out and figure out who to ask. And, and, um, so then the spiritual journey is about learning how to go within to get your answer to go to God, to source, to have your answer questions answered. But then another part of it is that kind of like you start, to, you're like, your life gets harder and harder and harder. So you're like, okay, I, I have to start healing. I have to make changes. And then you think like, that's going to make your life easier or like, <laughs> but really it's so that you can sh- be a way shower and show the way for others. And it, it's, to be able to elevate. So it's like, it's crazy because it's like, it's only when you're going through like rough, it's not only, but it's mostly when you're going through rough patches that it's just crazy, but it's not like it's just insanity all the time. There's are a lot of really beautiful moments, like the moment present moments and the moments of peace and all of that are just so profound, but there's just so much that you have to learn on your own. And there's so much like now that I'm so incredibly grateful for with like learning how to be resourceful and like go to source for answers and lean into that and self care. Self care is one of those like really big ones for me that it was like I really need that just for me because I'm not net it I self sabotage was just like so crazy for me and I don't know what it's like for others but um, and I still, and I mean, I guess it's just a journey. That's just the thing you keep learning and how to take better care of yourself. But then it's because for you to fill your own cup, you have to do that. And then to cont- to actually like pour into others from a full cup. And then when you're going through like lot, like war, like people mentally, like you are, you, you know the difference because you know you're typical you're t- if you know how to calm your mind then when other thoughts or things are coming in that are trying to drag you down you're like this isn't mine and so that's where the self-care comes in because it's like when those moments happen they want to take you to your knees you're like okay I can just t- come back to my breath or do this or do that it's not like easy per se but it gives you that tool to use to cope um <laughs> So it's just like, like today with my kid, it's like now it's like, like everything is on my shoulders and it's like, I just, if I let myself think now I'm trying really hard not to, not to overthink and not to like get caught up in the mind because I'll let myself go there. I'm like, Oh my God, it's so insane. Like what we're moving through right now. And I was like, okay, no, like breathe, take it step by step. It's okay to do this. It's okay to do that. You don't have to feel guilty. You do have to manage it all. You do have to keep your energy balanced. Like, and my kid, Teddy's like being needier right now. And I'm just like, all the tests come at once sometimes. But that's the beauty of self-care is that coming back to your breath, doing meditation, taking time to your, for yourself, like whatever that is for you, yoga. There's all kinds of things that can really calm your nervous system and give you that reprieve, laughter, um, talking to the right people, you know, like there's just all kinds of things that can pull you out of that mental space and drop you back into your body. But healing isn't to make your life easier. It's, (laughs) it is to heal and, and all of that. But, but then because it's truly like you have this true self and you have this vision and this manifestation, you're continuing to manifest and then you're manifesting from the heart. So I don't know. That was this mind blowing for me. I think just because I, for me, it's always going to be this crazy juggling act as a single parent, like 
trying to do it all on my own. And so that just is constantly, I'm constantly in that space of like how to best manage my time and which I'm not, I'm not an expert at by, by any, any, any means, lots of, lots of growth there, but I'm just making the point that like, sometimes you think it's going to be like smooth sailing or something, but then you just learn to make, you learn to adapt to the chaos and the upheavals better. Like you can just let go. You just, you have a deeper, you have a higher understanding of like, this is what happens and it's just a part of life. And once you have that, you're not attached to it and you know that you're okay on your own. If you're continually filling your cup, then you can handle those blows better. Um, but it also is, it's just crazy. People don't talk about this stuff and I don't know why. Please do what you need to do to keep yourself sane, you know, like with accepting that we're like delusional, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs>